So, uh, what's going on here? I see there's big buildings and stuff like that. What's going on? Oh, well, uh, it's made in Alice. Uh, this year it's the seventh annual made in Alice. And uh, it's been tough and tight, but we managed to be here today because of our community, our uh, people, stakeholders from around that they've been supporting the, the, the event. When you say stakeholders, what does that mean exactly? What kind of stakeholders do you have? Uh, when we're talking about stakeholders, I mean like your Kongobe municipality, because Made in Alice, it's, it's all about the people from within the Kongobe municipality. But as much as it focuses on, on the people who are in the Kongobe municipality, we are all made in Alice. Now, someone would ask a question when you say, made in Alice, does that uh, mean that uh, by birth? But made in Alice is not about uh, you are made in Alice by birth. But some of the people they are made in Alice because they came to University of Forte where they they, 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 they they gained some experience, some came to work, uh, some they came just to for their academics but they were all made in Alice. So made in Alice is not focusing only on the birth but also the way that uh, you know the people around they were developed you know they, they gained some skills within the, the Alice community so that's where the concept made in Alice come comes from and also made in Alice what is focusing on it's uh, developing the community and also looking into those kids who are disadvantaged because what we do we also give out some bursaries those bursaries that we are giving to those uh, learners we want them to know that uh, whatever they do whenever they go out to the world they will know that uh, Made in Alice has done something for them because they've been growing up from Alice. Mm. Now I've handed out some, but I have, I've spoken at the bursary ceremonies. Was happening about what is it like April or somewhere when? Yeah, it usually yeah. Happen? April. It was in April in uh, in the town hall. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, but how many? But how many bursaries? Now I've been doing it for like about three years now. I've been handing out bursaries, helping to hand out bursaries. But um, how many uh, how many bursaries do you usually hand out? I know each year it seems to be more and more. How does that work? Uh, the way the bursary concept has been rolling out, we've been targeting the schools around, uh, whereby we engage with the with the schools, where we the schools themselves they decide or they choose and see which learners that they are coming from the disadvantaged background. It's not us per se that they decide which learners we're going to take. As much as we developed a document which is guiding in terms of uh, how do we uh, take those learners but we uh, make the schools to be part and parcel the principals of the schools to be part and parcel of the of the program now the schools that we've been studying the program of the passaries are the school which are within uh, Alice we're talking about the Nzuluazi, Jabav, Wimingangatelo and other schools that are around so what I can say is that the, the Basari program is still a startup program that we are looking at developing it to the next level where we even focus to other schools within other locations okay well I'd like to talk to you some more a little bit later okay okay See what happens maybe even tomorrow okay this, this is what this is Tuesday night and it made in Alice the, the I'm gonna say the, I don't formal is not the way but the big celebration <laughs> yes yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what I can say today is the build-up as you, you can see things are happening we're starting to, to do things we prepare for for, for tomorrow whereby we also introduce now the, 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 the family side of Made in Alice, whereby even the small kids, they come and enjoy themselves, whereby they play with the jumping castle. Now, that one, we usually say that uh, the jumping castle, the Father Christmas, you know, they, we need to go to East London or need to go to Port Elizabeth to see such things. So as Made in Alice team, we, we are building that concept because we want to show that even here in Alice, there's something that can be done for the small kids and they can see that uh, when they are here Alice is a place to be you know we we created an, a, 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 an environment whereby when you go to Forte 
you graduate, you want to go to Joburg, you want to go to Pretoria and all that. But now you want to instill an idea that Alice is a place that someone can build something on. So that's why we are bringing such activities within the Made in Alice program, whereby there's even the small ones, they can start to be part and parcel of the program of Made in Alice. What I can say is that uh, the people, they must come and, and, and enjoy themselves and, and see how this program can, 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 can grow. Because we also have an open door policy whereby everyone can, can, can throw up some ideas and say this is the way we can develop this program. So the, 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 the Made in Alice is not for certain individuals, but it's for everyone within the, 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 the Alice and, and also the, 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 the Coco area. Okay, well, what's your name, brother? My name is Loa Zimbabwe, uh, Loa one, Loa, yeah, one of the uh, Made in Alice team. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to talk to you a little bit later. It's be like part one. <laughs> the whole three days we got to go through. Okay, okay, right. cheers. Thanks.